I've been provided by a number of boxes which I haven't opened yet and I don't know what's in them and I've been asked to have a look at these masks and check and see what, what I think of them. This says a fashion, fashion mask, non-medical. This product is a personal hygiene product, please do not share it with others. And straight away I see there is this other little package as well which looks to be some sort of filter. Okay, so this straight away feels like a fairly robust mask. It's got um, fabric there, it's got a vent on it. And then there is some sort of filter. Now, the first thing I will say is when looking at this, I'm immediately a little bit suspicious because as anyone who's worn a face mask will know, one of the biggest problems with is misting up, especially if you're wearing glasses. And um, the reason why vents are put on masks is so that when you breathe out, the, the breath doesn't get caught in the mask, it gets ejected outwards. Now, of course, if you're wearing one of these masks to prevent you breathing over other people, having a vent isn't actually a particularly helpful thing, because tests have shown that when you're wearing a mask like this, your breath basically comes out in a jet from this vent and actually extends further away from your body than it would if you weren't wearing one in the first place. So one good way of testing is to light a match and then try to see how easy it is to blow the match out whilst wearing your face mask. Now that seems quite effective from the front. What's interesting is if I put it in front of the bowl, That's not too bad at all. Great, so let's open the second package. This looks like some sort of fashion item. item. Um, and it looks like a type of netting, more so than anything else. That will be completely ineffective whatsoever because that's not going to stop breath at all. You can see right the way through it. Opening up the next box. Okay, so we've got this. So this feels to me to be at least two different layers of material. I would say so far this has been by far the most effective, and that's three layers of material plus a filter. This one's a significantly thinner. Um, so there's no obvious nose piece at all. And based on the shape, I imagine one wears it this way around. No good sealing on the nose at all. And it doesn't really extend much below my chin either. So I can at least move the flame. It didn't feel anywhere near as effective as the other one, but it does at least stop my breath being, being blown forward. Let's move on to the next one. And straight away I see there is a CE mark on that. So there's been some form of testing. Um, KN95 is, I believe that's a Chinese standard, that's not the European standard, which is normally EN. So I believe this is the Chinese version of the N95 mask, which is called an FP2 face mask in Europe. And these are designed to prevent, I think it's 94% of salt particles. So it's a very different shape, actually, if you compare it to these other masks. You can see it's a far more of a cup type shape. And that's designed to fit over your mouth and nose a bit more tightly. Again, elastic around the ear. It's a nice, firm metal grip over the nose. And straight away, it actually feels a little bit more claustrophobic and I can feel my breath is not escaping around the side anywhere near as much. So, can't even get the flame to move. Yeah, can't even get the flame to move with, with, with this mask on at all. So, the question is, so I think it's probably better than this one. How would it compare with this mask? I think I'd probably rank them roughly in that order. Again, all three of them did, did stop me blowing the candle out, so all three of them will work in preventing you breathing over other people in crowded spaces. Um, but I think this one, the KN95 mask, was definitely a much tighter fit. Okay, so there are a few things in this box. Um, VTAC disposable face mask. We have some safety face masks. 
There are some black cloth type masks there. We have dust mask, pack of dust masks. So this looks to me like it's an eye visor. Right, so that is a single piece of very stretchy fabric, extremely stretchy fabric. So there's no nose piece over it. I'm guessing it goes that way around so that it comes up under my chin. Okay, so straight away it doesn't feel as if it's covering much in my face at all. You can see I feel it's definitely stopping my breath, but it doesn't feel anywhere near as tight fitting as that mask. Interestingly, it does feel a little bit tighter than this mask, although I can tell that it's slightly less robust in my face. Let's, let's see how it performs with the matches. It's worth testing something a couple times. Right, so I was able to blow the match out really quite easily with that mask. So this is made in the United Kingdom, so it's called an artisanal mask. So to protect wearers from dust, pollen, coughs and sneezes. And it does say safety face mask on it. It's got some form of marking there, which I think this is basically a type of dust mask. So it is designed to stop you inhaling um, particles. Right, so that's actually quite a good fit. And it goes well underneath the chin, actually. Some of the previous masks weren't extending so far underneath the chin. Um, and where's my breath going? My breath's escaping mostly up and behind my glasses. Right, okay. So I can definitely feel a lot of air coming upwards, which is probably quite a good thing, because if the aim is to stop me breathing over the person in front of me, directing my breath into my hair, I actually think directing it down onto your chest is quite a good thing as well. Yeah, it's not moving at all. So this one is called Dust Mask. Um, dust, pollen and allergen. So this looks to me as the type that's designed for cycling. Right, yeah, no, so straight away you can feel it's a lot heavier duty designed. Yeah, so this is absolutely the type you design for, wear for cycling. It's got um, some ear loops and also a bit that goes across the head and critically it's got valves on it as well. So this says to me that this is designed to stop you breathing in particulate. So I would say this is essentially another type of du dust mask. Surprisingly, that fits on very tightly. In fact, having that additional bit around the back of the neck is actually very effective at the fit. But I can feel that inhibiting moving my head around as well. But at the same time, if you were doing some sport when you were cycling, that's not going to come off. That's just going to stay light, probably. But again, if the purpose is to avoid breathing over other people, the valve, having the valve there is not as effective as a mask that doesn't have the valve. Let's try wearing one. So yeah, again, the metal bit of the nose always helps. Clips down. Feels quite tight. How's my breath going in here? I feel it going more up my cheeks this time. So you can definitely see the match moving there. So this was the mask I wore when I came up to the lab. Let's just see how this one works. Yeah, so that's much more effective. Right, so my conclusion there, this actually is a medical surgical mask. Um, and this is made to the European standard um, as a medical device and I wasn't able to move the candle much at all whereas this mask that looks almost identical to it in many ways almost identical and with this one I was def definitely able to blow the candle so um, I'm suspicious that these look like medical masks mm -hmm. but not might not quite be the same thing okay. so then there's one last thing we haven't tried yet it's like only a uh, mask mask part So there, and in fact, I can see your shirt moving because it's yeah. diverting your I, breath I, down. I can tell all the braces are going up here okay. and then coming out from here. Okay, from so, this part. so in terms of 
preventing you breathing over other people. Yeah. That has an advantage, and I can see your mouth as well. So <laughs> that's helpful, you know, if, if someone was lip reading or something. So this is a sort of mask that we use in the lab. This is more a face, face shield type thing. And obviously, all the breath is going downwards over your body. Imagine. Now, of course. So it's obviously directing the yeah. breath out there. I think my favourite was so far was that covering. Plus the KN95. The KN95. So yeah. take that mask, stick that in there, and then put those two on together. That's my current favourite because it doesn't have a valve. It's got the KN95 mask, mm -hmm. stops you breathing out, yet this holds it on nice and tightly. 